Police constable was earlier today charged with manslaughter for the shooting death of a secure businessman or in Boston. The accused Sharon Peters appeared before Magistrate Esther Sam via Zoom at the Georgia Magistrate's Court, where he was not required to play to the indictable charge. He was placed on $1 million bail. The shooting occurred on September 15, 2021. Boston 29 was shot as he lay next to his wife in his bed. It is alleged that Peters, a member of the Guyana Police Forces SWAT team, pulled the trigger. The team was conducting an operation at Boston's Dartmouth Esquibo home at the time. The shooting angered residents, many of whom protested by lighting fires and blocking the road with debris. Before the incident, the police had not listed Boston as a high-profile criminal or even indicated that he was wanted for any offense. Hence, many found it strange that the SWAT team would descend on the man's premises in the wee hours of the morning. On Thursday, the Director of Public Prosecutions recommended the manslaughter charge after months of investigations by the Police Forces Office of Professional Responsibility and the Police Complaints Authority. Peters, a 32-year-old father of one, calmly walked into the courtyard dressed in his police pants, surface boots, and a jersey. He was surrounded by investigators from the CID headquarters. When the hearing had concluded, he was escorted from the courtroom in handcuffs. He will make his next court appearance on February 1st. Planning an elegant or corporate event? Let the experts at Star Rentals equip you. Give your event that spectacular five-star experience it deserves with the options of transparent tents of various sizes, indoor and outdoor formal bars and cocktail tables with LED lights, stage, podium with lighting, portable AC units, generators, executive portable washrooms, outdoor light tower, and much more. Call today, 226-3020, online, www.starrentalsgy.com. Star Rentals, we got you covered. Hey, looking for office furniture, stationery, electronics, janitorial supplies, or even dietary products? Okay, stop searching because we at Imperial Trading have all that and more. Check us out at 73 Section 8 Urban Street or give us a ring on 639-3785. And be sure to ask about our special discounts. Mm -hmm. Whatever you need, we got it. Because at Imperial Trading, we operate so you can operate. Amidst allegations of wrongdoings, Fire Chief Calamity Udu said he has done nothing wrong and will offer no further comments on the matter until the investigations into financial irregularities are completed. Udu was speaking during a telephone interview with this newscast. I never involved in no wrongdoing. I was always, I was always a professional at all times that whatever I did with my job is concerned. Idu proceeded on pre-retirement leave and said he was happy and delighted to have served his country for over 30 years. He said along the journey, there were some challenges. Various, there was good, there was bad. But anything you do, there were challenges, but what you have to do is put those challenges in front of you and look at the, the, the vision of the, of the organization and the vision of the country and you're moving forward. You don't look back at, at challenges. Challenges make you, you stronger in anything that you do. In anything you do, you must have challenges. But then you have to find ways and means to overcome those challenges and, and move forward. He officially handed over duties to Gary Wickham today. You would recall days after the fire to break down police station, Idu was sent on two weeks' leave following a disastrous effort by the Guyana Fire Service.
Hello? Um, grandson tear up his granny. Man, oh. granny, I'm no man. Grandson tear up. Both are Come, please do something for granny fast. Now I, go, I want you to get some groceries for me from the market. Man, granny, you could call Trace Delivery Service, you know? You know about the Trace Delivery Service that you never tell me? Look, just give me the number. The number is. Oh. All right. Granddaughter, you reach fast, man. Yes, you granny. can hook up. Yes, granny, yes. Anything else? Everything up to 15,000. How much you come up to? 15, including oh, the delivery. No. Well, I ain't ready to do nothing else. I just gotta go by NIS and do some running. But, granny, we just do the tough thing. You know, I gotta do sign behind your check and you we can go for your thing. You ain't gotta forget <laughs> no COVID card or nothing. we doing everything for you. All right, hold on. I got you from a thing. Stay up where you're going. Step back. Step back. If you didn't go and buy it from me at the market, you want to see what I got in my bag. Good. Pay the fee. Grandson. Grandson, my tail. Grandson, my tail. People's National Congress reform is calling upon the government to craft a budget for 2022 that will bring relief to the Guyanese people and transform their lives in a meaningful way. With the World Bank projecting real growth of 49.7 percent, 7 percent in 2022, and with the government expected to raid the Natural Resource Fund of the entire sum of U.S. $607 million or Guyana $122 billion under the disputed and highly contentious NRF Act of 2021, the PNC calls upon the government to craft a budget in 2022 that will bring relief to the Guyanese people and transform their lives in a meaningful way. For the parties calling for an interim increase in wages and salaries for public servants of 10% pending the start and finalization of the government and union talks on wages and other benefits for our workers. At the end of the day, workers must get at least 25% in wages and salary increases. An increase of $10,000 per month on the old age pension and the grant given to those in difficult circumstances. The payment of a COVID risk allowance to all eligible frontline workers of $50,000 every six months until the COVID pandemic has been declared officially over by WHO, PHO. A grant of up to five million to eligible existing micro, small, and medium businesses, as well as startups. Set aside about five billion to implement a program of infrastructure renewal in depressed villages and communities, entailing roads, drains, community and recreational centers, markets, etc. Et an earmarked sum of money to conduct an immediate survey of poverty in the entire country so as to better target ameliorative policies and measures. The party noted that the cost of living is killing. For these and other stories, do visit us at our website at www.rdproductionsty.com.